What is up guys, just a quick update on my arcade cabinet that I've been making in the last month or so. As you can see here, we have light coming from all of the buttons. And this is actually running on Raspberry Pi. But I used a iPack LED uh, board to light up these LEDs because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have enough output power to to light up all of these LEDs um, but the problem I was facing was lighting up the joysticks because I know that these have LED lights inside as well so this is currently my setup as you can see here we've got like the daisy chain that are connected on each one of these buttons to ground all of them and then what I've done here is I've cut and sort of crimped all of these individual cables so all of these will connect to this iPack drive board which is specifically for LED lighting um, and this connects by USB straight onto as you can see in the back here the iPack just pretty much connects to um, this USB powered hub here. So this is what's lighting it up. Because if you was to connect this to the Raspberry Pi then you would have power issues with the Raspberry Pi and it will run really slow and sluggish. So you don't want to do that. This is this method really is only for um, using a Raspberry Pi. Obviously if you use if you're gonna make one of these cabinets and you use a PC then you can just use the power supply and you don't have to buy one of these drives here. But yeah so these are like numbered like one two sixteen. Uh, I left one for the ground, that's the daisy chain. So I've still got quite a bit left over from the daisy chain but that pretty much connects to all of these buttons here um, I kept it so it's like this side here is just for the second player and then the yellow cables are for the player one um, but I was going to show you how to connect or well, how to light up the joysticks these are generic uh, joysticks and buttons, they came as a set. I think they were just called Arcade LED Joystick Kit or Buttons. So you got these two here, six, and then they gave you some small buttons as well. But, um, obviously this joystick here is supposed to just connect to, to the um, USB joystick. Um, encoder and you're supposed to get you get one of these actually and they have the little female um, connectors here but we don't want that we want one of these which is a loose one it has the uh, JST connector I think this is 1.25 millimeter 1.25 millimeter and you want the ends just to be bare so you want to cut the cut the wire and have just bare sort of cables at the end and then you want to buy one of these things this is just a, a plug adapter AC DC adapter this one here is 12 volt I believe with the joystick is 12 volt. You can get them either 12 volt, 12 volt or 5 volt. The buttons are running on 5 volts, but the, I'm pretty sure the joystick is 12 volts. 12 volts, but there's no indication to say whether it is or not. Um, so yeah, you want one of these. Make sure it's 12 volt, just to be sure. And I can't remember what the yeah 12 volt, 2 amp. The problem with this one is uh, I needed a UK plug so it didn't provide one, it was just like this. 
so you need like a travel adapter as well and this thing here so you need one of these as well this is like the crucial thing to to light up your joysticks um, is a DC adapter make sure it's the right size for this plug and it has the plus and minus the red and white uh, red and black cable to go inside here so essentially this will connect to your joystick so I've already got one plugged in on the side of the joystick and this will go on the end there so we're going to connect this up and then this basically goes into this just plug that in and then that will go into the power so this is what we're going to do I'm going to show you that it will light up and be perfectly fine so let's go ahead and do that right so everything is all plugged in and connected and as you can see the LED light is now lit up not too sure about this whole flickering through the cycle of the lights because when I first bought this like on the picture it just showed like a blue light I didn't actually realize it was multiple different like LEDs going on I mean it looks cool but having it on all the time would probably be a bit annoying this is the one that's not lit I don't think there's a way you can change this I'm just going to show you guys what I've done here so this is the cable that I had to get separately because I ran out of cables but this is going through the DC adapter this DC depth is connected to power adapter which is connected to more adapters so that's the one there, that's lighting up the joystick I suppose if I did want to just like not have this on permanently I can just um, you know disconnect it just like that and that will just turn it off like so this is just a easy method to light up your LED joysticks if you want to but like I said not too sure about the uh, the cycling through all the LEDs the flash sort of cycle I wish it was just one permanent colour I suppose I can do that if I somehow mess around with the circuit board or take out the LED inside the joystick that's another way I can do I can do that but until now I think this would be fine I can probably connect the same um, the same one or the same the same power supply for to light up that one. I'm sure the adapter will be enough. We'll have enough power to power these two together. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. All right, so they're both connected up now. And as you can see, they're they're not really in sync together. They're not synchronizing at all. They're just randomly cycling through the different LEDs. And this one seems to go black for some reason. Maybe there's like a dead LED, not too sure. But if I wanted like just permanent colors, I suppose I can just get different joysticks and just have a permanent color. But this is what it looks like when they're both connected up and flashing on a Raspberry Pi build. So they are powered by themselves. If I wanted to, I could just disconnect which has like a little button on the joystick where I can change it but there's not this is going through the same adapter, the same DC adapter 
that's what the wiring looks like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is just an alternative way of lighting up your LEDs using a Raspberry Pi build, which is you don't. I mean, I've seen a few ways you could do this. You can also buy another board like this to connect uh, the joystick, or you can use like um, a laptop charger and sort of cut the wires from that and do it that way. But this was this is quite a cheap way of doing it. I mean, this plug adapter was only like six pounds, which is about like maybe eight dollars or less. And this came with this adapter, and then I just bought some more of these cables, which was like another like two pounds or so. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to finish this off because I knew these had LEDs, and I I really wanted to like see what it looked like with the LEDs on and obviously the iPack drive I mean I filled out all of the the slots in that so I couldn't do it that way I didn't have enough enough room for that but this is the setup this is what it looks like a lot of cables a lot of time is spent researching and seeing what works and what doesn't I forgot to show you that I've also got like a one and two player buttons right there. I think I needed that for the final touch of this arcade. Um, but I've I need to connect these up and that will be the last thing I do before the control panel goes back on. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys who who are making like an arcade build. Um, yeah, that is it. If you have any questions or any queries or anything like that, just comment below, and hopefully I can help you out. Yeah, it looks pretty good so far. It's kind of I'm kind of liking it actually. The the light. Apart from this one when it goes black, that's that's kind of annoying. But there you go, guys. I will do another video to show you what games and what ROMs I have on the arcade in, in the future. So keep an eye out for that.